good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another creation today friends i have made a design that i'm going to share with you and i'm going to show you how it works in my lab so let's get cracking all right friends so what we've got here is a camera holder for a standard tripod so this was the initial design i created in tinkercad they slide in and lock in it uses these little bungee cords with the hooks you can get these at harbor freight i just bought a canister and i use them for all kinds of things it had enough tension to hold it but as i started to get larger phones this wasn't wide enough or it didn't extend long enough so i'm going to show you this file in a minute in tinkercad uh, it's totally adjustable you guys can have fun with it here it is holding a galaxy s7 i also use it when i'm using my iphones uh, here is an iphone 8 plus this one does not have a case yet but what i want to show you is that it still locks it in decent now it's not as good if you don't have a case it is usable in this mode now i do have one other bonus uh, if you are starting to create portrait mode videos, like you want to make a YouTube short, this is another cool thing about this design. It grabs it strong enough, you can loosen this, and just like this, you can stand it up, and you can record footage that you would use for a YouTube short. Alright friends, so you might ask, why not just use these simple little mounts? Friends, I do, they're super handy, but I had a ton of fun creating this on Tinkercad. It works on my tripod, which I'm used to. And friends, I enjoy creating designs in Tinkercad that I actually get to use. Speaking of that design, let's go check it out on the PC. Alrighty friends, so here we are in Tinkercad. Once again, if you've never played with Tinkercad, you can design online in a web browser. It's totally free. You can have as many designs as you want. You can see here I have V5 and V6. When you want to enter one, you just hit Tinker This. And this design is going to be public, so you can change it as much as you want. So what I have done here is I've created the opening that this matches. Uh, if you want to adjust these, you can ungroup them and then ungroup them and just keep tinkering with the parts until you get the exact design you want. If you had a larger case or a smaller case, these are all the little things that you can do to adjust them. I'm going to undo what I did because I like the way this one is working. This was just a trial. Uh, when you choose to print these, and they will be available on Thingiverse, I grabbed this chunk and I exported it as a single STL file and then I grabbed this one and I exported it as a single STL file. Since I've got two printers, I was able to get them both printing at the same time and that worked out pretty slick because I was able to test it much quicker. I printed it straight up and down. You could also lay it this way and print it. I just like the way these holes turned out better this way and I liked how this hole turned out better and the strength of the mount was pretty slick. Friends, if this is your first time seeing Tinkercad, I will have links up above in the cards so you can do some basic lessons and get your feet wet. Friends, also, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you add them below. I love user feedback and I love when you guys give me stuff that I can then take some time to solve. Once again, if you simply want the STL files, there will be a link in the description and you can use that to get to Thingiverse where I have posted them for 3D printing. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.